Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carrie, and if you're new here, this channel is all about Hawaii food and family. And today we're actually gonna be talking about the show that I'm working on called Peace on Your Wings here in Hawaii. And this is a show that was written by my sister Jenny and her wife Lori, and they wrote the music and the lyrics and all of that. But it's based on the story of Sadako Sasaki, who was a 12 year old girl who lived or who was born and raised in Japan. And she actually died from the effects of the Hiroshima bombing that happened in 1945. And so um, it's based on the book Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes, if you've read that book. This musical really is about spreading the message of peace around the world and of you know, living, savoring each moment and living each moment like it's your last moment. I know that I said in the video how I became a theater director, that video that I was going to take you on this journey. And so I did take some footage of our auditions and some of the rehearsals that we've had so far. And I just wanted to update you on how it's been going. <laughs> Welcome back. So today we are at Peace on Your Wings auditions and I wanted to take all of you along on this process and just introduce you first to some of our creators and um, our assistant stage manager here as well. So Peace on Your Wings is a show that Jenny and Lori wrote here. The show is about, um, is based on the true story of Sarako Sasaki, 12 year old, um, a girl who passed away from the radiation from the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima in uh, at the end of the war. So she developed leukemia uh, and then um, folded a thousand paper cranes uh, in, or in hopes to to um, survive and to spread a message of peace and positivity um, to the world. Yeah, and so they wrote all the music and they wrote the script, both of them, Jenny and Lori. Lori, you want to say hi? Hello. And yeah, today we are auditioning kids. This is Peace and Your Wings 3.0 because we first did this back in uh, oh, November of 2014. So it's been a minute and we're excited and we will keep you posted with the process and let you know how it's going. And I will share with you, you know, how we do auditions and all that. We had dance auditions this morning so the kids came in they danced and then now we're doing individual auditions where they sing and they do a monologue for us and then basically we cast the show and we're going to go on from there but it's going to be really exciting and i just want to take you along on this process all right see you in a little bit so you can introduce yourself and then you want to do your monologue first or your song So we just had auditions and it went well. Uh, I think there's a lot of talented kids. A lot of people came out today and it was a great day. Um, it's gonna be very hard to choose who we're gonna have in the cast. So the next step after this is callbacks. So we're gonna reconvene and talk to each other and you know, look at the different roles and see which role fits certain kids better and you know things like that and then we're gonna call them back next week and we're gonna have kind of like secondary auditions we'll see how it goes regardless of whether or not they're in the cast i just was very happy that they did well and and i'm just i'm, I'm really excited because the, the cast is going to sound terrific i can just tell there's so many really strong singers it's going to be great everybody that turned out for callbacks did a great job and it was just nice to be able to uh, narrow down who we wanted for each character and from that we were able to choose who we wanted to be our main characters like Sadako and the character Shizuka and some of the other main characters that we have. So the interesting thing about this show is that we did this show back in 2014 and since then Jenny and Lori are true artists and they want to continue to make changes and adjustments to the show and rewrite things and so this version that we're doing in 2022 now has new songs it has a new script and the storyline obviously isn't is the same like we can't really change the storyline too much but 
overall um, how the story is told and the details that are added are different. Um, Jenny and Lori have been working really hard on the script and we only really got to look at the script I think it was on the first day of rehearsals, which for a director that can be kind of cha challenging because we want to kind of know already what's going to happen and start planning everything out. It is what it is when you are working on new material and we just have to kind of go with the flow of that. Well, yeah, it's exciting. If you've seen the show before and you, you know, you're watching this video, then I suggest you come back because there are new songs in it and it's just going to be a great show. This is the second rehearsal. Ichigo Ichie. Say hi. So today, I'm actually just, today we don't have rehearsals, so I'm actually going to be just planning out what we need to do because as a director, uh, there's just a lot of planning that goes into directing. And so one of my jobs is thinking through how are we going to make sure we get all the material done and planning um, my rehearsal schedule out. So basically, there's music that the kids have to learn, there's choreography that the kids have to learn, and there's blocking. So there are all these different elements that we add into the story and so as a director I have to make sure that we can hit all of that and that each person has ample time to be able to work with the kids and so trying to figure out when and how we're going to rehearse everything with the space that we have and the time that we have and so um, for me I always have to look back at it to make sure that we can you know, we, we that we're doing it right. The first two weeks of rehearsals so far, we've done mostly music rehearsals because in a musical, the foundation is music. And so kids are learning all the, the cast is learning all the songs up front first. And then after that, then we're gonna add in blocking. And then when our awesome choreographer gets here, then we're going to add in the dancing. What are we what are we working on? We are working on the first song. Heart speed as one. The race. By the way, it's not called race part one, it's just race. The race. Before it was called race part one. It's not race part one. I said before. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, from the oh, my voice is getting much What have we done so far? Mm. I've learned most of the songs. I don't know how many songs, but we tried to do all the big numbers. So we got through a lot of the big numbers and we just have a few, like six songs left. How many songs did you rewrite or take out or this time around? Let's see. Took out three. Took three and we took that. And we wrote that. back two. And we edited like maybe three more. It's kind of like chopping it up, trimming the fat, and piecing it together. Gluing it back together. So, what have you learned, Lori, so far about this process of writing a, a musical? Well, I've learned that the, 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 the phrase 90% of writing is rewriting is absolutely true. <laughs> um, the show is very different. It was really funny because we were in the car the other day. We were playing some of the original numbers that people had forgotten about and I was like cringing and I was like, I cannot believe I subjected an audience to these like crazy lyrics like, that make no sense. And, um, but it was, it was, um, it's, it's kind of eye-opening just, you know, you just realize how how people how people like intuit the story and like how how you've got to make it more poignant and what what you've got to draw more attention to and so i think i've learned like less is more for sure and then that used to, that it's easier to just stick with um one main story and all the other stories have to sort of support that in a way 
This show used to be three hours long. <laughs> It was, I mean, it was also back in the day when we wanted to include as many students as possible. We tried to write as many videos as possible, but that became difficult. So now it's about a 90 minute show with the intermission. Okay. Now it's not 90 minutes. What is it? Two hours? It's about two hours. Now it's a two hour show. But with intermission. Yeah. With intermission. Mm -hmm. Ellie and Reed attend rehearsals as well. How does Ellie like the music, Reed? She really liked the music. She stopped what she was doing and she listened. Aww. Hi, Ellie. You're gonna get to know Pisa in your wings. Hi. This is Kenji. Kenji Hi. is the stage manager. I am indeed the stage manager. So what are your duties for this production? So for my production, for this production, I'm working on just mainly sending emails, creating schedules, creating mic lists and set lists and prop lists, everything that would need, you need backstage uh, to kind of just help the production managers on the show while they're not here because I can attend every rehearsal and just make sure everyone's on board and if they're not here they know what they're doing for the for the rest of the production and whatnot so yeah another thing that I have on my to-do list today is we have a meeting with our set and projection designer as a director my job is to create that vision and create that um, or lead the group, lead the group of designers that are going to be on the show. So we have a set designer, we have a costume designer, we have a lighting designer, a sound designer, and um, yeah, those are like the four main designers, including music and choreography and myself. And so, you know, as a group, we have to collaborate and make sure that everything is cohesive and that when we put the show together everything looks great together and so my job is really bringing everybody together having that vision although in this show it is a little different because working with the writers my sister and my sister-in-law um, i want to include them more in that process just because they have a vision of how they wrote it and so it really is you know their vision and me in a way trying to um, I guess like see it through in a sense for this show in particular but yeah overall I think that's the to-do list today and I'll show you a little bit of what that looks like okay. yeah. well I was thinking that, well, it'd be, it would be nice to have some platforms though like you know some 4x8s yeah. or there's no desks anymore Good morning, it's a new day and today I'm just, or right now I'm just prepping for a rehearsal that we have this afternoon and today is actually the first day of blocking and for those of you that don't know what blocking is, it's a theater term, but basically that's where we put the movement to the story and you know I will tell actors like at, on this part you're going to go here, you're going to do this and um, you know we, it's a creative process between an actor and a director basically and we're gonna be working on the song Peace on Your Wings today. And I was just watching old footage of what I did back in 2014. And I definitely don't like the blocking that I did in 2014. And I think it's just, you know, being older now and having a little bit more life experience and um, a little bit different perspective, I would say, on this whole piece and on this whole script. And so I'm excited that I, I have the opportunity now to redo it and just to, um, make it a, a little bit better and yeah just use the experiences that I've I've had in the last seven years to be able to um, just like I said make this piece better but anyway just prepping now and a lot of what directing is too is prep work and I, I feel like as a director the more that you prepare in advance um, the better it'll be when you're with your actors and it doesn't always mean that I have to like um, line by line know exactly what's happening at every single moment because I never do that but I think just having an idea of what I want to happen and how I want the characters and actors to feel during the process um, while we do this and make it also cohesive so they also have a say in you know what they feel is natural for them to do during these moments and have them be able to understand what their character is going through uh, at the for the parts that we are working on today. So, yep, just working on some material and I'll see you guys in a little bit.
This is a script. Here are all the different characters in the show. Super exciting stuff. Get out a pencil. We're going to talk a little bit about your character first. What is the character analysis? So you want to give your character dimension and body, right? So right now you have basic, uh, like Jenny and Lori, Miss Jenny and Miss Lori, they wrote basic things about your character in this first brief description, right? But your character is more than this. So the first thing that you always do, right, is you look in the script, you look through the text, and you see what do I know about my character from the text. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you're enjoying coming with me on this process. Uh, let me know if you have questions about uh, being a director or anything that goes into that as well. And if you wanna learn more about Peace on Your Wings, there'll be a link in the description box. So go there to check out when the shows are and all that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.